evolution. Evolution is how plants and animals have adapted to survive in their environment over many years. This may mean that the way they look or behave has changed to help them suit their environment better. Charles Darwin believed that we had a universal common ancestor. This was a theory he proposed more than 150 years ago and is widely supported, but back then people thought he was a little bit crazy. But studies have since proved that he was, he was indeed right and that all life on Earth did evolve from a single-celled organism that lived roughly 3.5 billion years ago. This brings us to natural selection. Natural selection is the real reason dinosaurs became extinct. All began in the ocean with a single-celled organism that as time passed, diversified into groups. If all organisms evolved from a common ancestor, then why haven't all apes evolved into humans? Great question, Kelly. And the answer to that is that we're all mutants. Ah! <laughs> Recap on DNA. DNA molecules are very long. They have dub a double helix shape. Each DNA molecule is made up of smaller molecules called bases. Chromosomes are made of DNA. Genes are sections of chromosomes. The order of DNA bases in a gene is an instruction for a cell. It is the instruction for how to make one type of protein. So if one of those changes, then that's a mutation that occurs and that introduces natural selection. It, it, there's a very famous example. In this photo, can you see that there's two moths? Because I, I can only really see one of them. I see two. You can see two of them? Here, like one at the top of it, that's like camouflage. And then there's one that's seable at the bottom. Yeah, because back in the 1800s, like back, like originally, the one that you can barely see, that was the majority of the moths that they had because um, because it was camouflage, less birds would eat it. But then in England in the 1800s, the Industrial Revolution came along and there was lots of smoke and smog and soot that came out of the chimneys and made the trees black. And then the birds started eating the white ones. And so natural selection happened and the, um, the black one became the more dominant of the species. In this game, we're all a blob. And so you're a blob and you will slowly evolve. Let's see if you survive. So your environments change. You either grew wings, so choose one of these. You grew wings, flap your arms to represent wings, or you drew gills, wave a fin on your head to represent gills, or you um, grew legs, stamp your feet to represent speed. Okay, so we all, we all did gills. Did we survive? Uh, your environment was the ocean, so we survived. All the gills and fins have survived. You are now a blob with gills and fins. Yay! So now our environment's changed again. What colour do you want to be? Green, yellow or blue? Yellow. Green. Green, good girl, because that's your favourite colour, isn't it? All right, let's see who survived. Your environment was seaweed. If you were Yay! green... <laughs> You survived to your camouflage. So just like the moths were camouflaged on the tree, in the seaweed, if you're green, you survived. Our environment's changed again. Either make goggles with your hands to make represent vision or pull your cheek to represent a sense of vibration or cup your ears to represent hearing. Ears. Ears? All right, cool. I think... You're really good at this game, Jelly. Because look, everyone with goggles would, where our environment became the seabed. So the goggles wouldn't be able to see anything down there. If you um, sense vibrations and hearing, you'll survive. 
We are still evolving. Evolution never stops. Natural selection is still occurring. New mutations will create a new species. Okay, what did we learn about mutation so far? That you have to adapt to what your like climate and what area you're in. Yeah. So do you think that humans are built for flying? No. No way. It's virtually impossible. This is an artist's impression of what we could look like if we were able to fly. 